welcome back to the shop there today uh, we're gonna build that do-it-yourself snowmobile sleigh I'm gonna spot a few names I guess where I'm from we call it a comedy or you can call it toboggan anyway whatever it is, is uh, used for hauling me on skidoo take your gear to go hunting fishing trapping or a little mug up maybe who knows anyway it's a great rig I've been gonna build one for myself for a while and uh, I'm going to build this little one now. It's going to be kind of a universal one. It's only going to be small so I can hook onto it with the, the big super wide or the little machine if I got to a little 380 or 340. So I already went ahead and got started there. I got a one runner laid out and uh, I'm going to walk you through the entire process now to how to build that sleigh. Uh, first thing, start out with two stock 2x6x8s. I already went ahead and squared off one end and cut two feet off the other. Yeah, so here we go. Then the two feet you cut off the other end is used to make that nose. I already got the other one ready. We're going to lay that out now and saw it out. Alright, so here it is. This is our stock 2x6, which is an inch and a half by five and a half. And I got a six foot section and a two foot piece. And here's my template for the nose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it uh, in one inch grid pattern what this is, in case you want to copy it out. All right, so now. There you are, that's that template laid out in one inch squares. All right, here we are. This template is made up for double two by sixes. We're gonna take this two foot length and we're gonna lay our template down and this will match up to uh, the length of our sleigh and the width. Now I got a bit of wean on the end here because I mill my own lumber. I haven't bought a piece of lumber in years. Why would you? Trees are free. But anyway, so I got to find a figure out now how I'm going to cut that. Cut that out. So, Alright, here we are. So I got that template laid out. I just took that two foot piece and slid it ahead and fill my template. I'm not going to use this uh, full little tab right here. So I'll go ahead and I'll trace this out. This will give us a rough shape of our nose. We'll use the belt sander, jigsaw to solder, belt sander to clean it up round it off and get it fitting well. So there we have it. That's going to be our nose. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and cut this in. Alright, there you have it. This is our rough shape of our sleigh runner. And uh, we'll go ahead now and clean this up with the electric hand plane and the belt sander. It's not too bad, just the belt sander. And here's our two runners put together and laid out. Wasn't too much to that. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, right here in the back, there's a radius at the back. And uh, I'm just going to trace this one out now on the other one. And the shoe turns up there and the only reason that's there in the back is for reversing the skidoo with sleigh and toe. Alright, I'll cut that out now. Alright, for now, uh, I'm just going to take some of this LePage exterior wood glue. And we're going to put a couple screws in this nose to uh, 
temporarily hold it in place until the glue sits and this nose will get permanently fixed when we mount the hitch to the sleigh. We get mounted with two very large leg screws. Good, one down through there, and one up through here. All right, there we have it. The two runners are done. Wouldn't watch that. So now we got to determine the width. I already determined I want the sleigh 24 inches wide. And I'm trying to keep it small and proportional because it's only six feet long. And uh, economical as well, I guess, because two feet will optimize the plywood usage for the box. I'm going to deck this over with one inch lumber. It's going to make the sleigh a little heavier but stronger. Uh, you can use three quarter plywood I guess if you like. Just cut it out shop and cut it out shape and uh, drop it on there. Alright so now I'll cut off a bunch of two foot planks and here's one of them now. These are ten inch wide planks. I uh, saw all my mill all my own lumber so I got no shortage of lumber. Uh, the only place to be using a bit of plywood, like I said, is the box. All right, let's get out and cut some lumber. Sleigh is one inch shorter than the uh, length of the deck, and so that should give me a half inch on each end, and that's for the box because I'm using a half inch plywood for the box. Throw all this down now and square this unit. Still a very big slit. What I'll do is I'll stick a screw here in each corner and uh, I'll measure the diagonals and square the slack. Alright, it's pretty simple to make a comedy square just measure your diagonals. A Sixty and a half. That's 61, so I'm going to have to go 60 and 3 quarter. Oh, That's 60 and 3 quarter. That's like perfectly square. Alright guys, here we are. The sleigh is completed. 
we're going to get ready now and put some Teflon runners on the bottom of that. See the whole thing is about six feet by two feet and weighs, gee, I don't know, might weigh 30 pounds total. As of now, it's going to get heavier, I guess. All right, there it is. Okay, we're looking at the bottom of the sleigh now, up and underneath. I went ahead and uh, put one Teflon shoe on. Uh, yeah, the shoe, that's the bottom part. And here, that's what slides on the snow. Uh, Teflon works great if you can find it. Uh, real thick, heavy plastic, even. Uh, I've used a bunch of stuff over the years. You can find whatever you can, I guess. My local hardware store supplies this white Teflon here. This is uh, 3 8 thick and it comes in various widths. Uh, this here is some stuff the next door neighbor had. This was three quarter thick by six inches wide. Uh, the runner is an inch and a half wide. This is two inches, so I got a quarter lip on each side. And that's just to stop from tearing up the edges of the runner, the ice, snow, rocks, all that stuff. And they're screwed every six inches, pre-drill a hole and countersink the hole so the heads of the screw don't drag in the snow. Yeah, that's about it. Like I said, uh, find whatever works the best. Plastic is probably not a good idea unless it's thick enough because uh, plastic gets pretty brittle in the cold. But uh, Teflon is what found the best. Alright, so I got one done, and we'll go ahead and we'll shoe this one too. And uh, oh yeah, on the nose here, I usually always wrap the nose in Teflon. Now this is ripped pretty well the same width as the runner, an uh, inch and a half. I wrap the entire nose with Teflon and back around, and that protects the nose of the sleigh. Some stumps and rocks and stuff if you happen to hit it it doesn't break it yeah all right so we'll go ahead now and wrap the other one Okay, so on the back here, this radius right here is it's fairly sharp, and this stuff is thick. It doesn't want to bend readily. So we'll take a heat gun, heat it up, make it more malleable, and make the radius. There it is. Heated it up. Oh, geez, it's still hot. And uh, I'm going to take it and saw it off here. 
The same as the one on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna duplicate this Teflon nose protector on this one. Okay, for this Teflon here on the nose, you don't need to pre-drill or countersink. There's nothing going to be slotted over this anyway. But, you will definitely have to use the heat gun and this stuff is a, a bit easier to uh, turn than that three-quarter stuff. Okay, so there we have it. We wrap that sharp nose, no sweat and tongue. Oh, stick a screw there now and hold it in place and I'll finish eating it. Okay, now we'll just trim this lint. Alright guys, so uh, that's the sleigh part done. And that ends part one of this build. In part two, we'll be building the box on top of the sleigh and putting a hitch on the runners. Alright, we'll see you in part two. Take it easy.